All right, back by popular demand. They tried to cancel me, but I found the funding in your mom's ass. It's Rims of Our Lives, episode four. It's going to be a short one, probably. We are waiting on the New World queue right now, and as soon as it pops, we're going to have to close the episode and move in there. But at least until then, we have a stable con uh, colony here to hopefully start actually finding some fucking gold. That's the story we're telling here with this season. Trying to find the narrative in RimWorld, the story generator. Let's see what we can do with this. I found your bank account. I did. I drained that shit. Just like I would anybody else who goes behind the Wendy's at uh, 2 a.m. You better believe I'm there. All right. What the hell's going on? We were getting gun upgrades. We have stable moods. We really need to invest in this. I'm even thinking that we expand it a little bit further down so we can turn it into a proper recreation room that also has a dining chair area in it. Um, normally in rooms of our lives, I try not to super stack rooms. I try not to have rooms that have multiple functions, but it makes a lot of sense for us to have a saloon type design that is both recreation and dining. I think that that's a fair thing for us to do here. We're certainly not cheesing it in that way. Okay. We also have a lot of research that we had gotten done. And we're continuing to do, and we're looking at work attire, which is going to be great for jumpsuit and overalls. It's a fantastic, co uh, combo overall specifically gives, uh, yield for plant work it also increases the carrying capacity which is really nice and it's just yet another layer for them to be able to wear um, and it covers their torso and their legs so that's very nice it would be nice if it covered more but on the middle layer which is a very specific layer it's really hard to find something that's going to cover that much of the body on that layer because the jumpsuit is skin layer and it covers all the same thing so if we get this stuff made out of devil strand which is what i'm really hoping we'll find in here um I'm hoping that we'll find uh, Devil Strand. If that happens, then... Yeah, cover, do we have double coverage on kneecaps, dude? It's fucking great. If we can get Devil Strand jumpsuit and overall combo, I think that we won't even necessarily need, like, flak armor. I think that the Devil Strand on two layers on the torso will be incredible. We'll have one layer on the neck, potentially two, if we make them wear scarves. But that's kind of gamifying it, isn't it? You know, we're playing mechanically at that point. But it does make sense for us to have jumpsuits and then also put overalls on. Um... Because I think that's a cute aesthetic, honestly. I think that's real fucking cute. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, let's unpause. Let them go do what they're going to do. We got Feeder, who's our new employee, uh, wearing uniform, which is great. They actually have zero suppression drop per day. That's so good. So they basically don't need maintenance at this point, which is excellent. So, we, you know, any anybody that we can get equipped this way is going to be very easy to, to manage. We have gotten a bit of steel, mostly because we mined that out. There's plenty more in there to find. Uh, I know that we sold a bunch of components. It says that we literally only have one left, and I... I wish I doubted that, actually. <laughs> I don't doubt that as much as I thought I would when I started saying it. Did they get put somewhere that's not in a... In a bin, or did we... In where did we invest those, uh... Where did we invest those... I know we sold a bunch. Did we actually sell all the way down to one? Does anybody remember? Fucking YouTube knows. YouTube always knows. If we did, I feel like a dumbass, but it must have been worth it. It must have been worth it. All right, welcome back, Vern. Good to see you. Do we have wood again? I mean, we do. Yeah, we have a little bit. It's it's never like this biome is never gonna have a ton of wood. We just have to we just have to accept the fact that wood is gonna be a hot commodity. Ain't that the fucking truth? Um, so we're gonna get what we can. We have I think we have somebody whose job really is to go cut trees. That's gonna be the plant cut. There's somebody that kind of goes out of the way for it. And that's because we want Fagus. Fagus would be the one to do it, though Cole would be the one to do it, but Cole's problem is moving around is not good for Cole with a bad back. Movement's really bad. Uh, feeder is... Actually, Feeder is probably the one to do that because it's going to go 2-2, two, two, then 3 for mining. If there is mining to do and there isn't, then they're going to go plant cut. So yeah, we, we do have a person who's going to do um, that. So that's good. We actually need to fix Feeder's religion. I didn't realize... We never converted her. This is a shame. This is this is a, a problem. So let's take... Oh, hi, Frackle. See what I mean? Look at him, dude. He's fucking breakdancing. <laughs> it's good. Uh, conversion ritual can be done. We could convert Fagus, which we really do need to do. Um, getting Feeder converted, though, would also be good. But Fagus is the higher priority. I don't know when his religion switched. That's kind of dumb, but it did. We're just hoping that we roll the 60... No, it's actually 69. I don't even have to fucking mean it. Okay. The 69% chance that Fagus gets a good ritual, I've literally never had this work. It always rolls ineffective. It's literally always ever rolled ineffective, no matter what the percentage was. 
So we're hoping that we get a really good conversion on Fagus because getting everyone in the same religion is going to be really nice. Uh, just be, And I say religion, ideology. We need them to be trained. So he needs to be retrained. He is supposed to be one of our helpers in the religion because he has that social skill. So we're hoping to get him converted so that he could be on our side. And my roommates are making uh, mozzarella sticks and I fucking hate them. <laughs> it's uh, so, man, it smells so good. All right. So let's go ahead and begin the ritual. Everyone's up. Everyone's ready. No one's injured. No one's sick. So we're in a really good spot. We do only have five people with guns. I would love to get actual colonists. Um, but it's it's one of those things where it kind of is what it is. I'm glad that we have the colony that we do. The only colonist we've lost has been pretty much useless. So we really haven't lost that much. Vegas just like cuddling up with fucking Frackle. It's what This is honestly every time I go to training from now until the future, this is what I want to happen. Just throw my ass on a table and then tell your friends how great I am. Sounds good to me. I'm down. I'll play ball, dude. See? It's literally always ineffective. It doesn't fucking matter. It's, there was only a 31% chance that would happen. Oh, great. It's 31. But still, like, fuck. That gets, that gets frustrating, but it's like, you know going in it's going to get fucked. Damn it, dude. Because now moods are going to be down from the ineffective. Uh, or is it? No, what it does, though, the worst thing is that it reaffirms his fucking religion. All right, you need to specifically go and convert Fagus. Don't even let him finish the soup. Just like, bitch, remember where that came from. Certainty reduced only 5%. This is rough. It, it, it's mostly because Fagus has high social that it's hard to convert him. You, you can very easily convert people who don't have a brain for diplomacy, but if they do, then they're going to catch on to your tricks much faster. Also, combat supplier is somebody that we want to deal with. I don't think we have any money. I think we have literally, yeah, 19 bucks. Nice. Um, oh, fuck, I forgot we got the medical book. That's why we're poor. Okay, they have five. Let's try and afford this if we can. We can sell a semi-auto rifle. There's nothing else to sell. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We just don't want... Well... No, we mined all this out. Okay, so we really are on E. We really don't have anything. Um, <laughs> we really don't have anything to sell. We, we're super fucking poor. All right, Leander, get out here. I trust you and your AK-47 to not get kidnapped and murdered in that order. Oh, shit. Potatoes. Okay. Good deal. Uh, someone will pick those up eventually. Is that a... Hmm. We should probably start planting succulents around the base to try and get some more beauty. Just to have a little bit more. Just a little bit. Because, like, gra Okay, open dirt is not bad. But every bit of individual grass is plus one. So this is another thing that happens in deserts. Is, yeah, you're not negative one all over the place like you are over here with rocks. Um, but you are not getting the plus one, so you're effectively negative one. You're just not negative two. Uh, so that can that can lead to them saying, oh shit, everything around here is really ugly, and if the beauty is constantly down in here, then it's going to be hard for you to fix. It's going to be hard for you to fix. All right, combat supplier is good. Pods arrived. More shit. Nice. Oh, this is for another quest. Monument completed. All right, good deal. Give me that shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay, we did Vanimetric Parasol. I feel smart now. That's good. We definitely need that. We can sell the glitter world meds. We don't need that. What's up, Reiner? Why are we why are we sweating, dude? <laughs> Make the soup, you sluts! God, I need a warehouse. That's probably the next thing we build. But where? Pero donde? Do we put it up here? Do we do a workshop up here? It's probably much more realistic. Ah, you know what? I think that we destroy this and we actually take this land. Although I want to expand this down. How much do we really need to expand it? I feel like not very much. If we were... Okay, let's go ahead and do this expansion. We'll do like five there. We'll do like five here. Three, three, seven. Is that enough? I feel like that's enough. Maybe we get rid of those two and we keep the rest of it. Let's go ahead and forbid that. Maybe make another entrance down here. Saloon door. Yield saloon door. Fuck yeah, let's do that. Hey, Don. Don, how about this? Go fuck yourself. Are you playing? Are you in queue? I've got 410 queue left. It's been two and a half hours. I want to fucking play the video game today. I logged out earlier and I, I remember every time I log out, I go, hmm, this is against my better judgment to log out. And then I do it. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> 10 off. I know I'm a little bit late here. It could have been 420, dude. We could have laughed at the number. Missed opportunity. I apologize. I should be a better streamer. Fuck, am I really going to spend wood on this? Everything is so expensive. 
fuck, I hate being poor, dude. <laughs> it's the it's the worst. Oh, work attire is done. Okay, so what random research do we get now? Canning, carpet making is not bad. Basic managing software doesn't help us farm props. Moisture pump? Honey, I got that covered. But carpet making. This allows us to make floors not out of stone. This opens up a new material type. So this is actually really good economically. And given the other options, it kind of fucking suck. Let's go ahead for carpet making. Farm props would be really cute, but most of them cost wood. We can't afford that. You guys have to remind me like every 15 minutes to check the check the queue, okay? Don't let me fucking forget because I will. And what'll happen is I'll get in and I'll be standing in town like, I'm here! And then 15 minutes will pass and they'll kick me for AFK because I didn't know the queue was over. I'm fucking paranoid. 397, by the way. God, I've got to get another area to put this shit in. I almost feel like I should just finish these walls together. Just put them together. Like, delete maybe those two and just build this into a workshop. Like, I don't know what the fuck is supposed to be happening with this. Natural generated garbage ruin. But we can... I really... I like having this wall here. This barrier is so good for defense. Like, it funnels them into this position and we can hold that. We can also flank around it because, like, if you look... Okay, hold on. Fucking John Madden time, right? Fucking chill. We're standing here, here, and here. Okay? Enemies are going to want to stand where, chat? Tell me. They're going to want to stand there. They're going to want to stand here. Now, granted, there's only really two positions for them to stand and shoot us. Potentially, if they were run by a human, they would run to these two positions as well. And maybe that one to flank us. Maybe they would go here. That's possible too. I can see the AI doing this one. Um, th this is obviously not going to happen. The AI is not smart enough to know to do that. This might be just because it's close enough that they might coincidentally go around. Okay? But, if we're standing in these three spots... We can go... Oh, I gotta zoom out. There, there's a way for us to go this way, and then come around and stand here and be able to shoot them from here. Get a big flank. We can also move over here and get our own people to this position and get a big flank there. The guy that's gonna stand here and try and uh, shoot us is gonna have absolutely no cover against whoever stands here. We can also stick a melee boy right here and just have him go around the corner and give this guy the fat dick. So I don't know. There are a lot of opportunities here for how we wanna, how we wanna use these defenses, but we just gotta try and be strategic. Got to think about our, our resources there. I really like the idea of having the, having this little sort of divider wall in here. I think that's really cute because we could put like a pool table right there. Hold on. How how well would a pool table even fit here? <gasps> Pretty fucking good, dude. Pool table here. Couldn't fit it down here. This would be... If we just fit it down here, that'd be really cool. Hey, Goose Puncher 69. What a fucking name, dude. Yeah, dude, RimWorld as mass multiplayer, I, th I think would be very interesting. I, I Even having multiple, having, man, the biggest thing for RimWorld would be having multiple people just on the planet playing simultaneously. You can't pause, you know, uh, maybe you can only pause your map, but, you know, you know, however that would work. But having multiple players actually on this map and playing together would be incredible. I think that would be incredible. It would be a clusterfuck. But I think that that's like, that's t to me, that is like the true end game for RimWorld development. That would be so cool. The game would have to be pretty much like rewritten from the ground up, but it's called Civilization. It's actually called Humankind. Bitch, get it right. Humankind is, is frankly everything I wanted Civ to be. Do we have enough stone for this? Am I poor? How poor am I? Be honest, no, 1.7K, we're good. Much like my Q. 370, by the way. Fuck's sake. I am recording, right? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Some days you're like... <laughs> some days it's hard to remember, you know, which hand is your left one. I can't say that. There's some people that actually have a hard time doing that all the time. For me, I never get anything wrong. I'm literally infallible. Uh, God, we've got to... Okay, we've got to figure out what we're going to do in here. I think pool table here is cute. We do like dining area up here. Maybe just put a bar and a bar and then stools in the middle. I think there's a lot of really cute shit we can do with this. Oh, shit. That's what we actually do. Hold on. Eat my ass. We're going to... Hold on. We're going to... No, no, no. Extra furniture. It's in here. Actual countertop. Not wood, though. We're not that... We're not that rich. It's the one on my left. Oh, shit. I'll get there eventually. All right. So let's... Let's say that this is where we store beer. Are we going to make beer? I think our colony is okay with beer, right? Our ideology says that we're our pawns are fine doing drugs. Give me them drugs. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. 
Let me see, because last colony we did, they did not want to do drugs. And we, we, we're trying to build a story out of this game rather than just playing it. We're trying to build a narrative. So we want to really respect the pawn's wishes uh, in order to help them have that personality. So if their ideology says no drugs, even if drugs would be like the one thing that saves the colony, uh, we wouldn't do it. So I'm thinking that we could do a bar like across here. And then it ends there. We put like even a saloon door. I don't want to do it. I don't want to actually divide the room up. I wish there were non-doors. That'd be great. Like it operates like a door, but it doesn't actually divide the room. That'd be fantastic. All right, let's get this shit moved around so I can do a little bit of construction. Yeah, this good because we could put a pool table and it fits right. Th oh. All right, hold on. This all needs to get destroyed and moved down. We just need it to move down literally one space. Um. We might need to push this down further. Which would be sad, because it would be a waste of precious re resources, but at the end of, end of the day, who gives a shit, you know? It's all gonna work. The loss of, like, 30, 30 granite, if that's what kills us, we probably fucking deserve to die, let's be real. Alternatively, we could just have this go across right there, if we just did something like this. We couldn't really store anything back here. But we could store it over here, because then we got, like, the, we got the put this here too that's cute I kind of want this right there hold on let's let's flip this to the other side let's give it a little bit more opening here I think that's good I think that would work because then we put stools on this side I suppose we can keep those there get rid of the tables just put bar stools along this we might even be able to put like a small bar here that people can sit behind just like a little like table table chair chair so we can still stand there and shoot through the door that'd be good yeah no i listen that's why i'm saying at the end of the day now and i hear him in my head too you know at the end of the day <laughs> look at brad what a good boy this has got to move though let's put that here fuck i spit in my mouth anyone know what to do with it fuck what am i doing am i thirsty boy tonight is that what's happening let's uh fuck what do we want to do with this i just delete it just fucking delete it we'll figure out where the accent walls need to go later we're not worried about it right now. I hear clipping. Are we making clothes? Oh, a collar. That's good. Fantastic. Getting all this stuff made. Good. Move it over. Chest table needs to move somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, you know what? Right there is a good spot. That's actually a really good spot. Let's do that. I think that's really cute. This stuff can get moved over here. Let's unpause. This stuff doesn't need to be delayed very long. They'll move the furniture pretty quickly. I think they have to. They have to build everything first. Oh no, they're moving. Perfect. I'm always thirsty. Fuck you, Leandre. Says the says the queen slut in our chat. Oh yeah, Algroth, you're fucking right, dude. I've been in queue for two and a half hours now. Oh, it's miserable. Is it really? It's already 6:30. Fuck's sake. I'm in three and a half hours now in queue. 345 in queue though. It's getting there. All right, we need to launch uh, power lines. Are we throwing them? What are we doing? Launch. That's an interesting fucking verb. Now, let's do this. Get that routed around. We have a bit of a redundant line going around the building now. It's a little bit of steel, but it's worth it. TM. This is so much cuter already, and then we can, like, delete most of these. The big ones we get rid of. We're just going to have, like, a line of tables in a couple different places that if they really want somewhere to sit and eat, I, they'll fucking figure it out. What we do need to do is probably figure out what kind of actual bar stools we want to do. I think these are good, too, but they can only be done out of wood. We only need, like, one, two, three, four, five. We only need five of them, so that's what. 75 wood. That's worth. That's worth it. We also do get a little bit of steel back from de deconstructing those tables. Oh, good. Lights are on. Hell yeah. Product is finished. The soup kitchen's continuing to work. God, there's just no space for anything. There's just no room in here for anything. I'm terrified. Can I check another server? Uh, no. It, it, so if I go to a different server, then I lose all my progress on this one. So we'll see. Hey, Taos. So, I want you to know uh, that you got a gifty sub. I don't know if you were here at the time, uh, but Jay Straws gifted a sub to the community. Like a fucking boss. And it landed on you. Pat Pat's for you. Do I put this, like, out here somewhere? Just in fucking no man's land? Do we want to do that? These could be little cute little loner spots, you know? You just go sit. Oh, do, you know what? That's actually my favorite thing. When I go to a coffee shop and they've got bars along the wall where you don't even have to pretend to talk to people. You just sit and look at the wall, or maybe there's a window there. That's the good shit, dude. 
it's nice being an introvert. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's maybe have this guy here. We're we're building decoratively here. We don't really care if it's efficient right now because oh my god, I don't have to play well. Uh, we're gonna win either way. Oh, that was for Fern. Okay, never mind. Sorry, but it it is a fair question. Oh, uh, Jay Strauss isn't here now. Ah, oh, that's okay. She'll pop back in. She might be lurking in the background. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and get these stools built. This guy needs to be moved down here. Let's maybe put a couple stools just up here. That is indeed thunder, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a nice pub with a fucking dead rabbit right by the door. <laughs> and there's a little gazelle outside. Like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I think it brings in that rustic cowboy aesthetic, you know? If anything, we're going to get like a four and a half star review that says, why not deer forehead, you know? Oh, interesting, Taos. Well, I, it's okay. I'll let them know that you were appreciative. I think that they'll care, you know. They'll be pleased. They will be pleased. Hey, Micah Moore, good to see you, friend. Okay. <laughs> Is that a mill? Is this something about to run up behind me and explode? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so we need to get a, uh, we need to get, fuck, we need to get a lot of things. We need to get... Where do I want the lamp? God, I don't know where I want the lamp. The fucking lamp. I never know where to put the fucking lamp. Here? It's kind of in the middle. That's where I want the pool table. Pool table should go here. Let's be real. Pool table goes here. So we put the lamp. Where the fuck does the lamp go? There's no room in here for a fucking lamp. You know what? It might do wall lights. I don't want to spend resources on that, though. Never mind. Okay, we're going to do this. What's our cue? 314. Shit, it's going quick. We're down to pie, dude. There's a number. We got one. All right, let's go ahead for these stools. Perfect. Yeah, two lamps in symmetry would be nice. We probably are going to need two lamps for this room just to make sure that there aren't little, like, dark corners. Although, honestly, I think that even builds the aesthetic more, let's be real. We need to get other... Uh, oh, shit, Bwed's coming in here to read. What needs to happen is we need to make sure there's a shelf in here, a bookshelf. There we go. We need to make sure there's a proper bookshelf. Did you have a touch Rimworld in almost a year? Uh, you've missed out, actually. There's, so I don't know if you know about like the 1.1 update with, with the royalty DLC. But basically, there was a time when this game was abandoned. Now, it's not abandoned anymore. They're working on it again, which is really fucking cool. It's a great time to jump in. The the things they've added to the game and the way that they've... Uh, Ludian, I say they. The, the way that the dev team Ludian has advanced the game since this time last year... It is a completely different experience. It's so worth jumping back in, I would say. If you liked it before, I think you'll only like it more now. A shotgun on a shelf somewhere? Dude, I think we have a shotgun laying around somewhere. No, I sold it. Because I'm a dirty whore for money. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, sorry. Fucking bookshelf. So I spaced out there. Um, I was thinking about all the dick pics I've seen today. <laughs> So I joined it. I joined a community and uh, was just about flooded with dick pics. Believe me, wanted uh, and thoroughly enjoyed. But sometimes the things you see linger, <laughs> imprinted on the back of your eyelids. That's some nice dicks in that community. I gotta say, we got some nice dicks here too. So that's nice. We can hold that. Oh shit! What am I talking? They have literally bar stools. Get the fuck out of here. Literally bar- those are so cute. We're gonna do that. Uh, circular tables are good. I mean, I feel like I want to do like two or three of these instead of these guys, but I'm gonna use these because like this is- this is wood. This is- how much is this, by the way? 20 each? It's 100 wood. Can we afford a few of these? This is gonna be so cute! We're gonna do like three. They're not gonna be right there. They're- hold on, let me spread these out. They're not gonna be right there. What am I doing with my life? Let's put that there for now, okay? It's it, Listen, we're moving. We're in the process of moving. It takes a minute, okay? Uh, recreation. Billiards table. For now, we're putting it... Are we building it out of that? No, we're not. We're building it out of sandstone. It's what we have. Okay. Do we have the reposition mod? Taos, I don't know what that mod is. So, no, we don't, and I don't know what that is. Please sell it to me. You know what we should make is a punching bag. That definitely goes in here. Yeah. The faro table definitely needs to go in my here somewhere. And my dick needs to go in here somewhere. Five finger. What saloon is complete without five finger fillet? 
do we want it? The wounds, man. Causing the wounds. We probably need to expand this building. We just need to get rid of these three tables, but we need these built first. There we go. Let's go ahead and add these guys. Let's forbid that for now. Let's get the other things built. So these two benches, uh, stools will be used for this. We're going to build actual chairs for... We, okay, components. We can't afford this, but, like, that's good. A poker table would be great, but, like, over here? So let's go ahead and build both of these. This is a... No, 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 not wood. Sorry. I'm an idiot. Let's do jade. Jade poker table. Send the baru subs foaming at the mouth. Uh, okay, that's good. I don't think we need to do roulette. It doesn't really fit to me. But the, but billiards, poker, an old-timey ragtime piano, punch and bag, darts, uh, faro, and five-finger fillet. I, we'll keep chess, I suppose. Maybe we'll move it in here. Good. Let's just let the peons build this, and, and meanwhile, I need to figure out where we're going to get more components, because we're out. We already mined all of these, too, so now I, I, we're actually fucking out. Oh, Jesus. I thought we had more than this. Fuck you, Lightning. I'm terrified of the next raid showing up, and now that we finally have stabilized, the next raid's going to show up like, hey, hey, nice, uh, nice base, and they're going to fucking eat me. <laughs> we're just dead. And all this struggling ended up being for nothing. <laughs> That'd be so sad. Hold on, did we dig up, uh, dude, we dug up a hundred silver out of the quarry. Hell yeah. Ah, dude, rip food. It is, is it? It's so dark. I can't see shit, Captain. Why is this in here? Let's cancel that. Get all that granite back. We really don't need it for that particular statue. So what we were building there was a, uh, and we do want to make one eventually. It's a grand statue, but it's for the religion. If our religious pawns see it, they get happier. But apart from Jimothy, the perpetual bitch, uh, I don't see anybody who's having a hard time. Slept in the heat, tatted apparel, ate without table. That one is your own damn fault. But we are improving this soon. Oh, fuck, the bar stools are coming together. Oh, that's going to be great, because they'll eat at the bar. They'll grab the food and eat at the bar. They'll get their soup and eat at the bar. You know, we probably could still get away with just visually. Uh, maybe not extra furniture. Uh, do you know what mod had really good shelving assets was uh, Gloomy. Gloomy's mod had really good shelves in it. It had like a proper wine rack and it even stored stuff in it. With this, I think that we don't have anything like that. I mean, we could just do proper shelves. Like, we could do shelves. I just really like the idea of visually seeing some shelves stacked up along that wall, but I don't think that's going to happen. That or if it does, I'm going to need some other stuff. Oh, Perspective Building Mod. I feel like I've seen that one, but I can't recall which one that specifically, what that does. Okay, they're eating with a table. This stuff isn't actually being frozen, so we can keep this. You know what? That's what goes behind the bar is food. That's what goes behind the bar here. Is this is this is where we keep the food, and they'll they'll have to stand right there. If they stand right there in that spot, they'll be able to see both of these or grab them, so they don't actually have to walk behind the bar. But we'll just like pretend that this is tucked up, you know, so there's actually walking space back there. There isn't, but we'll we'll pretend that there is. Okay, so that's all the wood that we need, apart from the faro table and the five finger fillet, which is forty. Uh, this is already taken care of, so we just need the cloth for this. Cool. Oh, it makes you... Oh, okay, so it lets you make the chairs look tucked in and other things. I feel like I've seen that mod before. Those kinds of aesthetic mods are really fucking cool. Alright. So let's... God, what do we want to do here? Can you fucking not, dude? The lightning has been so aggressive in this playthrough. Jesus, please stop. God, whatever sins I've committed, go fuck yourself. I had too much fun. I'm not taking those back. There's there's not going to be enough room in here for all of this. We, we know that. That's not happening. Uh, so we could probably get away with doing something like this. It doesn't need to be too big. Okay, we're not being full-size queens over here. All right, let's try... Oh, if I built a dick. No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, we And then we could do the same thing down here. We just move that door. And then we have enough space to put, like, you know, the, the poker table can go there. That'll be good. Poker table can go here. We can actually proper have, properly have these spaced out in a way that it, it it's going to take up a lot of space, but that's fine. And then we have a recreation more at the south end down here. So this, this stuff can get destroyed. It's a little bit of steel for us, too. 
Steel Sarcophagus likely to get destroyed if he gets damaged too much more. Go ahead and get rid of it ourselves. We are continuing. This whole thing was like, yeah, let's build a let's build a bookshelf so they have somewhere to put that book. And then we're building a whole fucking saloon. This though, it will build the impressiveness of the dining room. It will build the impressiveness of the rec room, which will help our moods across the board, which is very nice. It will help to stabilize us even further. Or at all. <laughs> at this point, I'll take either. I'm super that person who goes to the store like, yeah, no, I just need like three things and I walk out with not those three things, but a whole lot of other stuff. I can't be fucking trusted, dude. Can't happen. Yeah, this is good. Once we get this moved in, though, it's going to be even better. It's going to be even better. Because then the food will be right here. Because the problem with them having to go in here to grab it and come back out is that we actually want them to stay out of this room as much as possible. Because when we do convert it to a proper freezer, anytime they go in or out, open that door. Just like your dad said, you're letting the bot air out. How Q? 218. Okay. Dude, we're getting close. We got maybe 20, 30 minutes. Maybe 20, 30 minutes. So I'm, I'm sorry that tonight is going to be very slow for the room world section, but hey, it's fine. We're expanding our stream hours uh, to Saturday and Monday included, so you better believe there's plenty more. I would love to have my groceries delivered, but I'm poor. <laughs> the delivery fee adds on like 30, 40% sometimes. I'm queuing for New World, which we're going to play as soon as the queue pops. Diplomacy with Sheen. Nah, we don't need to worry about it. The only real, the only neighbor that we have around here that we really care about the relationship is these guys, and we've already gotten them to neutral. So they're not trying to kill us anymore, which is good. Jimothy reaching level 5 in construction. Jimothy reading this medical book a lot. And is getting pre pretty good. I mean, we're going to we're going to start to see in the work tab that people are generally just going to start brightening up here in these three as they get generally across the board better because they're taking turns reading the book. Right now, if we had a second book, Leander would probably be trying to read it right now. So, more books would be better. Actually, having a proper library would be cool too, but it's hard to keep those books. Because, like, they'll they'll choose this as their sitting spot, and then they'll go find a book to read. So, like, they'll take it out of the library, then bring it over here, and just fucking leave it there. They never take their books back. <laughs> Perfect. Although it is true, cats can't read. I don't know what the hell Leandre's talking about. I think she's doing, like, some pro-cat fucking propaganda. We need to take care of that. Carpet making's done. Hell, what the fuck? Get your Jesus out of here. There we go. Vehicle props. Multi-analyzer. Is there any way that we don't take this? No, fuck that. Multi-analyzer is incredible. That gets us up. All of the research is going to be open as soon as we make that. Because we've got this already. We just need to find a space to put the multi-analyzer, which will probably be right there. We stick the Venometric Power Cell behind this guy, which, even if it only powers this, is still fine. Yeah, I mean, that is an incredible... That's an incredible... Hold on. What the fuck? Fleeing? Someone's fleeing. There must be a threat out here. Jimothy is freezing in panic, but why? Why are you why are you fleeing? Leandre doesn't see anybody. Is there somebody standing like right there with a knife that's about to fucking kill you? She's just having a random power attack? Power attack? Panic attack. Because we have mods that make it where I don't know what I'm getting raided. I just see I just see the raiders. They just fucking appear. And we have to deal with it wherever we are. Which is why we've built these defenses just in the middle of the field. Because if, if I got caught right now, Leandre goes right behind that. Boyd goes right behind that. We're, we're good. I feel like Leandre needs to investigate. We're going to go speed one. Let's see what happens. It, she was down here and then she started fleeing. Let's check around that corner. I'm not seeing anybody. I feel like I feel like that might have been bullshit. I might she just had a random mental break then. She just started having a panic attack on her own. She wasn't uh, she wasn't prompted for it. We do need to get rid of that ship chunk. And while we're here, let's see how many we have on the map. Fuck! That's the last one. Oh shit! We're out of components, <laughs> big time. We just need to we just need to get a food surplus, which is going to come with having a labor surplus, which we don't. 
someday we will. Uh, eventually we need to be growing enough food, and this is also why we did corn here, uh, that we're able to make package survival meals with just a little bit of hunting. Jimothy currently hiding in a room. That's fine. Oh boy. I feel like this is going well. Uh, 190, by the way, in the queue. It slows down the closer you get to zero, by the way. <laughs> that, them's the rules. Lots of heat stroke right now. We really, we just don't have the components to be able to get people, um, the temperature climate controlled. That the I can't tell if that's noise from the kitchen or gunshot in game. It was noise in the kitchen. Okay, we're good. We're not being shot at. I'm just so fucking paranoid because you never know when something's going to show up and try to eat your ass. And you got to make sure you're prepared all the time for that. Medical emergency. What? Is it uh, heat stroke? Drop. Let me observe heat stroke. You're fine, dude. You're good. I don't know if taking them in here is going to be good. We probably need to make a hospital that's going to be temperature controlled. We don't... Listen, we don't have the... Uh, if you're going to do climate control, you need one of two things. You need component. Oh, shit. We might have enough components for one. Cooler. What one room do we do? Because this is our hospital right now, effectively, right here in the dorm. But, like... One cooler isn't going to do shit over on this side. Like, that's not happening. Doing it in here would mean that we'd have to move this stuff out, which we could do. Just move it up in there. There's no problem with that. Spin the steel to vent between these two rooms, and then we, we, can, we can put hospital beds in here. I feel like that's the answer, is move some of these beds over. Move the medicine back in here. That is the answer indeed. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just move like two beds. Our, our two beds, the whole two beds that we have at the hospital. Uh, do we have any more unowned beds? Yes. Okay, so these guys can be moved over, and we can, we can make a... <laughs> we can make a shanty little hospital shack in here. I think that'll be fine. We get that shit moved over. Um, we're not going to have this many pews. We can get rid of all that. Get that moved in here. Let's go ahead and have a... I think it's worth investing in a medicine cabinet. A single bench that holds the medicine. Do we put it right there? I think that's a perfect spot. That way when someone goes to the hospital, medicine, right there. We don't have any of this having to run to the other side of the colony and back again. It's just fucking awful. All right, Ferdy about to finish the billiards table. This is going to be a, an awesome addition just because the call... Fuck off, Ferdy! Finish your job! Get the fuck in there. You're not done. There you go. Little bitch, they always walk away. It's like, yeah, five work, I'll finish it tomorrow. No, motherfucker, get in there now. Okay. We're good there. That stuff moved. Let's expand this out just a tiny bit. Just get those additional two spaces. Right now, everything everything matters. Feeder isn't getting better, by the way. Um, oh, shit, we already have a cooler in here. <gasps> this room is kind of too... Oh, it's a heat wave. That's why people are so fucking hot. Okay, um, we're going to make this medical and I don't think feeder can be sent we'd have to do a, a four slave medical bed which I believe we can do without occupying the room okay so we're gonna have this one be medical then unmedical it will make her fall out of bed which means she has to be rescued reserved by Leandre who should be rescuing rescuing a rescuing will take her to take her to a medical bed which is in here what degree is it just a cool 128 fucking degrees. Just a cool 128 degrees. We've got issues here with coal as well. Heat stroke is serious. Vegas is also serious. Heat stroke. Um, yeah, and we got coal in there. I think anybody who's got this red marker on them, they're probably close. Enough. Yeah, there goes Vegas as well. Um, we need these beds moved now. This is now a crisis scenario. <laughs> Go fucking figure. All right, Jimothy, you need to grab another bed and move over as well. We don't need them to actually get tended right now. We just literally need them to sit in a room that is on 120 degrees. Yeah, those are those are yeehaw temperatures. So we're getting those beds moved over. Feeder should imme immediately start, yeah, dissipating. We just need someone to go grab coal before she fucking dies, dude. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so feeder's immediately back up again. So if we make this the proper hospital... Um, medical, we'll probably have 
one bed for slaves. I think, yeah, one bed for slaves. And then once we get them proper jumpsuits too, it's gonna be great. Let me check, hold on, what is their, um, what is their employee uniform currently occupy? Uh, what layer? Headgear neck and outer torso. So instead of having overalls, they'll have the body strap, but they'll still have the jumpsuit. Yeah. Yeah, rate of thermal radiation is what we're dealing with right now. No warning. Uh, is someone going to grab coal? Oh, good. Bwed got her. Perfect. She should make it back in time. The question is, yeah, Fagus is being brought back here because we didn't have a medical bed, so we need to mark this medical, unmedical. Okay, and cancel whatever the fuck I just did there. There we go. And that should bring Fagus up, then we immediately rescue. Okay. Everybody else looks okay. Feeder is all the way back to normal. Cole is in a real bad spot. Cole is being brought here because we only have the one slave hospital bed, which I don't understand where you're doing that. So we have to micromanage them a little bit. Uh, she... Nah, she won't die. She, she won't die. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe not. Vegas is back to normal too. They just seem to take a minute in a cold room. Drink some water, maybe throw up once or twice. Quest available for a volcanic winter. <sighs> Do we want a volcanic winter? Is there 50 gold? Oh shit. 12 days isn't enough. Okay, so 12 days is not enough, I'm pretty sure, to kill plants. Maybe it is, I can't remember. What is what is the time that they can go without sun? before dying. It also would help with the heat stroke. You're right, Taos. It would bring the temperature down. Do we, like, strategically take the volcanic winter? Because we could harvest all this, most of this, right now. We'd have enough food to be able to go through it. It would just kind of it would slow down our economics, but it would give us gold, which is the objective of the entire playthrough. 135, by the way. I gotta close my door. It's just too fucking noisy. BRB. What's a man got to do to get some fucking peace and quiet around here? Uh, oh God, what am I pressing? There it is. This button. Hey, Frackle. I'm thinking you're right there. I think it might even, even kill the plants. But it does it does block sunlight. I think things just won't grow during that time, but they're like 50% growth. I think that there's like a there's an amount of light that you do get, it's just like only 30% or something like that. Dude, the thunder's fucking rolling tonight. Nice. Yeah, this is working much better. They're also taking soup with them in their inventory, which is interesting. They're holding on to some food. This actually might be why they're eating without a table. It's because when they decide they're going to eat, they're doing it up here, not by the dining room. Where as opposed to... I don't know if that's mod behavior that's making them pick up and hold on to a, uh, a meal. I actually don't want them to do that because that's going to lead to them eating away from the dining room. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking, Frackle, is that there's a... Uh, the solar panels will still be like 50% productivity during the volcanic winter. It just So it won't kill the plants, it'll just slow them, which is totally fine. We have plenty of food. Anything that's in like 90s or 95s will probably just be finished by that point. 122. <laughs> we'll get there. Watch I get in and my power goes out. I'd lose my goddamn mind. I would lose my mind. We're still dealing with heat stroke. Uh, we're gonna wait, Leandri, wake her up and get her to the hospital. They will go to the hospital if they're this this uh, this bad. So you wake them up real quick. They go to the hospital. They cool off. Hopefully, they get there on their own legs. They don't pass out on the way there. That would be mildly inconvenient if they did. Yes, yeah, soon it would be Spooktober. I'm very excited about it. Oh, this other table's coming together. Good deal. We just need to get these three walls done, these three walls done, and then we'll be able to take this stuff out and have a have a proper... It almost looks like a, a chest plate of some kind, you know? Not a dick. 
No dicks in this chat. 118. <laughs> the fucking, it's, it's, it's an agonizing countdown. Vegas is still too hot. Okay, he's going on his own. Good. They only, like, they won't go if they're currently queued up for a job. They won't go if they're asleep. You know, they have to be awa awake and looking for a new job. I forgot there was gold in the hills. We'll have to mine that before the end of the season. <laughs> At least that. Like, come on. There we go. Colony suit rescue. Yeah, feed it. This is, this is the issue. Fuck, you're so far away. Someone will rescue. She'll be fine. Ferdy. Ferdy is going to rescue. No, harvesting the cactus. Wow. Not going to rescue Feeder. No, no, no. We're just going to fucking fix the cag the job she didn't finish. Coal is coming to get her. Coal is really slow. We actually don't want that to happen. So let, but let's uh, keep it paused. No one has a, an opportunity to claim this job. We should be able to return to Slave Bed and bring her back to town. And then we undraft Coal and she goes back to work. Bwed continue to research. We're making some good progress here. This one's going to take quite a bit of time, though. Colonist needs rescue. Now Cole's down. This is exactly why we didn't want to send her. This fucking heat wave is 136 degrees outside. It's 96 in here. It's 96 in this room. Jesus. We may not have the option but to... God, if we ran a gas cooler over here... It's good for a proper freezer. It's not good for an actual thermal conditioning that we need. We leave this door open and we cool this room down. That could be good. Just a little bit of extra power to cool us off. I feel like we just have to suck it up and build this. I really hate spinning it, but... I, f I feel like we have to. This is going to be Ferdy who comes over and does it now. Because this heat stroke is 130 fucking 6 degrees outside. Yeah, passive coolers can be good too. Actually, you know what? Mmm. I don't, I don't feel like we have enough wood to sustain this over time, but as an immediate answer, yeah, I think you're right. This is probably good just for the heat wave. Pretty go ahead and take care of that. Let's get this built. Fagus is in the hospital. Cole is on the way, on the way to the wrong spot. Jimothy is taking, oh, is this already occupied? That's why. Um, we'll make another spot. We just need spots. Honestly, we don't even need beds. We just need spots. Why are we giving a bed to one of our employees anyway? Go fuck yourself. You know, get on the floor. All right. There we go. There we go. And then these are both listed as medical so that we always have vacancy for both of them. Drop. Draft. Pick up again. Okay, good. You just have to tell them to reset their jobs. It's so hot in here that they're not actually going to get rid of their heat stroke. But yeah, no, that passive cooler is already working very well. There we go. Yeah, trying to cook when everyone's hungry and they, they want to eat the raw food because they don't have meals. And then you can't make the meals because they're eating the raw food because they have it reserved. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> That's real fucking annoying. All right. Medical emergency. They're back up again. The temperature is back to normal, but they're still... Let's just have them drafted and stand in here for a bit. Just stick around for a minute. Heatstroke is still pretty... You're fine. You can go. Heatstroke is still pretty high for these guys. They can walk just fine, but their heatstroke just stays high. Okay, you're good. And then Leandri probably needs to get in here. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to just kind of micromanage them right now as long as we're dealing with this 120 fucking degree weather. Jimothy needs to get in here. I just... Anybody with that serious heatstroke is gonna come in here and they're gonna... They're gonna have to be forced to cool down. Union mandate. They don't have the choice. But this is, this is the kind of micromanagement I hate to do in video games, but it needs to be done. It needs to be done. There is a mod called Common Sense where pawns would automatically go and seek out cooler temperatures if they need to, but... You know. You know. That mod is also really bad on your frames, so... We want to avoid that. Alright, 92. We're under 100, boys. Soup is rotted in storage. That's all good. That's fine. We're overproducing. I'd rather it rot because that means that we have too much. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of the, the, some of these walls. I have to do that as well. Yeah, we don't need the door either. We'll just we'll probably just put the poker table down here. Not there, but like right here. Yeah, that's a good spot for it. 
You know what, probably should put it over here so it kind of uh, counters what's over here. This probably gets moved down as well. Maybe it sits in this little nook right here. Oh, it didn't fit. It's a little bit too big. Fucking typical. You know what, though? It fits right there very well. Oh, shit. I hate having power lines uh, on the floor. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. Let's go ahead and get rid of them. I hate having power lines on the floor because the negative beauty. We're already, we're already fighting the beauty pretty hard, trying to just make sure everything looks nice. Okay, probably going to build another lamp. This one's going to go maybe down here. This is a good spot for it. Uh, and then we just need to find a couple places to put these, these tables. That's a great spot for one. The fuck? We could put one over here. This is a great spot for a table. This one probably go like right there. So these need to get destroyed. We're done with them now. This stuff can go. Where are we gonna put the faro table? You know what? We could put it. Oh man, right here in the middle. Just do this. This other one goes here. This is cute. Yeah, this looks fine. And then we could put the. Uh, we can move the lamp a little bit. We build another lamp. Hold on. Build this copy. Put it. Put it right there. Fuck it. Put it go right there. That is true, Frackle. If you stop them from eating raw food, they won't even attempt to reserve any of that stuff. Because you know, we can put these guys on the, the poker table. And then for now, we'll just have two, but eventually we'll add more. And then, like, we got those two chairs right there. I think that looks nice. This probably gets put over here somewhere. Oh, that's a cute spot. No, I like that. This one maybe goes left a little bit. We probably could add one more right here, but that ends up getting real crowded. Same with over here. I feel like this one even could go right there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's find some chairs that we want to put in there. I really like these. These are cute chairs. But these almost feel like more, more appropriate, these guys. They're 45 each, though. This is expensive. Uh, let's put one on each table. Just for now. Just one on each table. Two on each table. Okay, yeah, let's do that. And then maybe let's have this one over here. That way it feels a little bit more varied. We give space for the table there. That's cute. I like that. Alright, so it's a little bit more more wood, but now this dining slash rec room is going to be basically done until we decide to put floors in it, which probably would be a good idea. Probably would be a good idea. 69 in cube, boys. Not even a fucking joke. Just literally 69. Then we're going to be in. Yeah, I have chair, one chair backward. Oh, shit. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, I almost feel like this one could be put just like this. Because, like, yeah, like they're sitting and watching the, the poker or the uh, pool table. That could be good. I think that's good. What a great idea, dude. Flavorful as fuck. Eventually, we'll probably add more chairs. But, like, one will be one will be over here. Raw decorative chairs that don't actually do anything because they, they're not right up against the table. They have to be... Right against each other to count. Oh, Ferdy sitting backwards like that really cool English teacher? Shit, dude. This is looking good, but we're, out, we're almost out of food, seriously. Is none of this ready to harvest? Oh, shit. Is that like a manhunter rabbit? I don't think so. This soup is going to be the last of our raw food. Like, we're going to be going through a buffer of 45. A lot of shit just rotted. That's unfortunate. Because this is what? 10, 10 meals? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50? So this is the other half of it that's about to finish. Lots of soup coming. It's going to give us the 100 meals, at least until it rots, and then we're going to be out, so... I think... I think we probably could turn one of these guys off. I think we could turn one of those guys off, but nah. Not, not uh, the goal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing set where it is critical. This is where all of the medicine goes. Any type of medicine. Also, the heat wave is gone so now temperatures are back to normal and we can go ahead and get rid of that i think honestly though let's just forbid it that way if it ever happens again which is likely then we'll have that facility ready to go we can fuel it once it's needed it's it's very easy to pay a little bit of wood than to have a permanent investment of very limited resources that we need to be able to put elsewhere you know just trying to be strategic with that All right. All this, uh, all this psychoid man is going to turn into quite a bit of cash for us, I think. We just got to find the trader that's going to take it. It would be nice to have a little bit more money as well, but like, who doesn't want that? 
You made a mod that allows building coolers, cooler and torches empty for no wood, then fill it. Oh, I like that. So it's sort of a reverse fueling. Yeah, the people eating at the counter I think is really cute because they grab their soup and they sit at the sit at the bar. <laughs> Cause they're gonna they usually will pick the closest seat. Yeah, heat wave and solar flare, these this is your only answer. Okay, here we go. I think we'll be fine. We'll definitely start getting this corn harvest in before then. You know, before, before we actually run into a food deficit. We'll be fine. We have plenty to eat. There's so much ass in this colony, we'll never go hungry again. Look at all these materials, man. We've got a lot. We have a lot of stuff going for us. Ferdy actually in the quarry now with feeder. Hell yeah. Coal tenant plants. What that sound? What was that? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god, if we had like, oh man, if we had a mass manhunter event right now, that'd be terrifying. Three rhinos, four elephants, some ostriches and emus. Everything on that list can fucking deck us. Everything. There's not one thing on that list that doesn't terrify me. Heat stroke again, that's fine. This is pretty normal. It's the, it's the usual 105. We can deal with that. We probably should invest some steel into vents, but we can also just keep these internal doors open. And that does the exact same function. So let's go ahead and have these guys held open. I do miss the mod that was like, you can tell the door to open. It's just a button that opens the door, even if a pawn isn't there. Because currently the only way to open the door is have a pawn to actually step into the doorway and then step back again. You can't just like reach out and open the door. So if I have people that I'm defending this position with, they got a fighter there and a fighter there. They can't just like open the door from here. They actually have to step into this position, which is completely unprotected, and then step back again. Like that shit gets people killed. Imagine that. Like you couldn't you couldn't knock on a door until you were already in the doorway. Nonsensical bullshit. There's some of the corn coming in. Good. We got potatoes out here too. This is pretty good. Ferdy just he apparently loves this fucking table. It is a good table. It is a good table. For what, one fifth of the way through for this? Yeah, just about one fourth actually. Even better. Inspired creativity for Cole is gone. I don't think Cole was doing any creative work. There's nothing that Cole really can do. Also, Fagus lost his shotgun. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Do I have walls that you can shoot through? Yes, we have embrasures. Um, that's a Manhunter event. Just the one rhino. Just just the one. I don't know if it's that one either. We got one rhino out there that's fucking crazy. Once we see it, we'll get everyone. But luckily, they all sleep in about the same spot, so it's very easy to rally the troops if we get attacked in the middle of the night, which is most of the time going to be the case. Most of the time, your raids will launch their assault as pawns are going to bed. They want to hit you when you're tired. But where? I know we can see through the, the barn doors, so like if they actually walk through here, we'll see them, but it's not likely. I hear it's over like here. That's what I'm thinking. Angry Kazoo. No, there it is. It's finally making noise. I feel like now's the time to deal with it. Uh, Leandre here. Ferdy here. Tim and Jimothy get there. Uh, feeder stand in front and tank. Cole help. Uh, rhinos can go very wrong very quickly. So we'll see what happens. No, they tend to come at certain times. I don't know if they actually respond to your pawn schedule. That would be really advanced. All right, Fetter. Oh shit, it's right fucking sneaky fucking ninja rhino. Okay, I guess. Well, Feeder, you better fucking run, dude. Y'all better hit your shots too. Wow, okay, so Feeder got gored. Bruised in the leg, just kind of nudged, kind of bumped. That was it. I love this icon. <laughs> this is the best fucking icon I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> I'm saving that. Holy shit. <laughs> there we go. Well, anyway, we dealt with that bullshit. This is the best icon. All right, well, the, the rhino's taken care of. I'm sh I'm almost shocked it wasn't all of the rhinos, but hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bitch about something good happening. 
This is terrifying. The fact that I still don't have a fence over here is really bothering me. Because if the enemy can come from the south and attack us from the south and get to coal from the south, that's really fucking scary. But if we look over the fence and we see them, but they have to go around somehow, that gives Cole an opportunity to run straight north and get out of there. I think now is the time to go ahead and build a uh, fence. And a tall fence, something that's actually going to, you know, block their, block their access. Uh, probably out of sandstone, because that's what we have a lot of. And I don't mind there being a little bit of space over here, but I think that at that point, go ahead and pull it across. Perfect. And we're not actually, we're not actually like stopping them from accessing the quarry. We just want to stop them from being able to go from right here, straight there. We want them to have to go around somehow because this hook maneuver gives us so much time to be able to get into position before they even have an opportunity there. Do your slaves fight attackers? They will if I tell them to. They often end up just being body blockers. Can they be rescued? Yes. So for all intents and purposes, they are your colonists. Uh, the only difference is you don't have to give a shit about their unhappiness. Um, you don't have to treat them well because they're intimidated. Um, so instead, they're they're basically just meant to be low maintenance extra pawns. You don't really get a lot of. You don't want to hand them guns. It's a it's honestly a great thing to do with a non-combatant pawn is to enslave them. And no one is sad if they die. That's right. So it's really. Um, if you have a non non combatant good crafter, for example, you might want to make them a slave instead of a colonist. It really depends. They don't need to have good relationships with your pawns, although they can fall in love. I'm pretty sure. Slaves get logs. I wouldn't even give them logs, man. Give them give them weapons. They're going to use them. Just keep them naked. Keep them naked and afraid, and they do their jobs just like any corporate uh, mining company would would do. Our employees have a very limited uniform uh, that keeps them keeps them where they need to be keeps the morale in check <laughs> fucking give them the logs <laughs> we're taking a, a soup break back here we probably should add a place just a little snacky area for them to be able to eat maybe like a little single one tile table and chair that could work but we're working on multi analyzer which is going to go right here so Tree branches aren't inspiring enough to make them rebel. Interesting. You know, with the fact that they're zero percent right now in their in their decay, we might actually give them a weapon. It might be decent to give them weapons now that they have proper uniforms. Oh, position in Q1. Well, listen, we got a little bit of progress made. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like we definitely just continued <laughs> on the path that we did yesterday. No raids today. Nothing really happened yet. That's going to be short episode four, but that's going to be it for RimWorld. We're hopping into New World now, and we're going to play that basically until I fall asleep at my keyboard. Uh, I can't wait to be able to share this game with you guys. I've had a lot of fun with it offline. It's time for us to play it. So for those of you on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this short but sweet episode of Rims Over Lives. We'll be back with more on Saturday, where we continue this playthrough right where we've left off. Be sure to leave comments if you've got a, anything to give us for feedback. That'd be really nice to hear. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you on Saturday. Good night, friends.